Matt Hun here with MDH Technologies. Today uh, we're going to do a series on Windows 8, specifically Windows 8.1. Uh, and there is uh, some pretty big differences. Uh, the main reason for the video topic is due to the fact that most of our customers uh, at MDH Tech are still using Windows 7, which is what we're currently re recommending. Um, but we'd like to be a little bit proactive in our approach. So what we're gonna do is in preparation for moving to Windows 8 at some point or its successor, which may be modeled somewhat after Windows 8. Uh, hopefully they don't make too many changes too often. Um, we're gonna be proactive and do some training sessions on Windows 8 uh, so that you can be familiar with it before you have to actually use it. Uh, we've received some feedback from users that indicated uh, Windows 8 was a little bit frustrating to use because of all the changes in the user interface. Um, so this is going to give everybody an opportunity to, um, in some very short videos, learn tidbits here and there about uh, the new Windows 8. And uh, that way when you have to start using it, you'll be uh, have some level of comfort and some level of familiarity uh, with the new operating system. So. The first video that we're going to do is basically going to cover the start screen. So, um, used to go straight to the desktop in previous versions of Windows, you know, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, so on and so forth. Uh, all, all, all of the older things went directly to the desktop, uh, which is this view here. Um, when you first boot the computer, this is the screen you're going to get. Okay, it's called the start screen. You can customize the desktop and tell it to go straight to the desktop rather than going to the, the start screen if you don't want to see this at all. Um, and that that um, is an option. We'll cover how to make that change in a later video. Um, basically, the uh, start screen is optimized for touch screen and mobile devices. Uh, and it is really very responsive. Uh, so these things you see here are referred to as tiles. Uh, you can see here the, the tile that we're currently highlighting. The desktop tile is what they refer to as a double wide tile. And here you'll see the Internet Explorer tile. That, that's, I guess, a standard size tile. So s some tiles will be the double wide and some will be a uh, smaller size you'll notice that the screen goes over to the right. You could swipe over that way if you had a touch screen or you could just move the bar by a mouse uh, and see all of the other applications that are here. Now you'll notice the arrow here and if you were to swipe in that direction or tap that it'll give you a screen that's going to show you all of the applications that's loaded on the computer rather than just tiles for those applications that uh, are optimized uh, for Windows 8 here uh, and uh, designed to, to show up. Um, if there are things showing up that you don't want, you can simply, oops, let's get back to where we were here. You can simply go to the tile, right click on it, and a menu with options appears here, uh, and you can just choose the unpin from start option and you'll notice it no longer appears uh, so once again that's a right click and then just unpin from start and that'll prevent things from showing up on your start menu you can get it um, to where it's actually useful to you uh, one of the things that I found about the uh, start menu is that it actually is fairly useful uh, the problem with it is that it's preloaded with stuff that we may not care about. Um, so that's um, what I see to be the biggest problem initially with the start menu. I, I don't actually use it. Uh, I bypass the thing altogether. Um, but um, for those of you that do want to experiment with the um, new tiles and uh, start menu, uh, there are some, um, some things you can do to make um, 
uh, things more manageable on these screens. So that's today's tip, customizing the new start menu in Windows 8.1.